Hello Gothic friends, my name is Razvi and welcome back to the worst let's play of the world Gothic 1 Unreal Engine. We are a member of the Shadows of the Old Camp. In today's episode we are going to spy on the Old Camp and see what they actually want to, to do, what are they planning for. We just got here, we are quite powerful. Oh, we are in the second chapter, they only have two merchants. We should check on one of the merchants that they have. Maybe they have something new. It's the Bal Kadar guy, the guy that we put a student of his to sleep. Because in the, sec the first chapter he had nothing for us to sell. We spent some money on the better armor. So we are going to be able to take a lot more damage. I want to so yeah, they are selling new stuff. One minute we can run faster, not worth it at all. Protection against crushing weapon. Yeah, th there are different crushing and piercing weapons. That's different. Okay, he has nothing, but he has a rune for us later on. So far we don't need anything from him. I thought he would have something more important. Then who's a merchant? Oh, okay, the blacksmith. And then Fortuno. Who do we have to talk to? I forgot what our task says. Ah, Mitiberion. Wow, we already have access to him. To the big guy, Iberion. What do you have to sell, my friend, Darion? I'd like to trade with you. Good. Okay, he has a stronger weapon. Yeah, he got some stronger weapons. Can we smith something? Nope. Oh, we have 28 that we can do. Glowing still. Twenty-nine glowing blades. And now we can do 29 swords. So yeah, we have a lot of money now with those things. And the next guy. Because of the weapon that we found in the old camp, many of the weapons are quite useless actually. Which is a bit bad. But it is what it is. For two now. Do you still give us. I've come to collect my. You've already had your dip. I want. What do you... okay, he has nothing. But it's weird that he still give us free. Swamp with Corcolum has nothing for us yet. So, time to meet the big Iberian, the only guy that we were not able to meet. And the one that we are not to know to tell about uh, to Gomez because for some reason he would know that we haven't met him, which is weird, and he would kill us. No clue what's that, why that is the case, but we will accept it. Wait. Stop. You can only enter the Temple Hill if you have a guru's permission. The novice Lester says that also it says only the guru's permission and Lester can let us Lester in. Is trustworthy. I know him. You may pass. So a novice can bypass that, right? This looks so cold. Why would anyone want to stay in such a cold place? There is a big guy. Can we talk to her? Yeah, there are no... A lot of stuffs here. It's weird they don't mind that we take their stuff. But we will accept it. We are going to enjoy the... Oops. Damn it. At least lucky they show us what we already use. A huge combination here. He has something to read, okay.
Yeah, the lock picking is much easier now because they show you which keys you press, which direction you use. So. Iberian, my friend, stand up. Greetings, Master Iberian. Ah, I know your face. Impossible. We've never met before. But I thought, well, what do you want? You smoke too much, right? That's how you, you thought that you knew me. That's right. We need a magical focus. We sent the novice Nairas to collect the focus. But he hasn't come back yet. You could check up for me what has happened. Where shall I begin to search? Leave the camp, turn right, and go up to the tall cliff. Go beyond the forest until you can see the sea. There, you'll find the focus. Why is the focus so important? And why is it, it lined up? It's a magical object which can concentrate our spiritual powers. It is one of the five focus stones used by the mages to erect the barrier. In a vision I saw that we need to use the power of the focus. Sounds like quite an interesting vision. My vision was a sign from the sleeper. We can reach him with the focus. So that's weird. With the focus on the magic, the mages uh, made the barrier. They got trapped inside. They decided, okay, let's find out what went wrong, but leave the focus stones on the spot where they were. That's a bit weak in my eyes. They, they were supposed to take them with them because they needed that much power. I'll Whatever. Focus back. Take this map. The location of the focus is recorded on it. I still haven't found the focus. Then search on. The sleeper will guide the way. Okay. We have a map. Where is it? Documents. Okay. So those are different parts of the map. Yep. Okay, we have to get a focus stone for him to to channel his power to reach the sleeper. We have to find now the focus stone. He would it is supposed to be there since years. I don't know how lo long it took since the how long how much time it passed since the barrier fall, but the focus stone is supposed to still be there. Hey, you. Do you talk to us? No. Okay. Why are you looking so mad, Mr. Templar? So actually, we, we might have an information for Raven, but it's not worth to go all the way back to tell him they are trying to start a big invocation. And it would have been better if we had slept, right? Damn it. Can we do it in this hole? Yeah, we can because Lester is a friend of us. You don't even notice that you actually slept. That fast it is. Lester, can you tell us something? No, nothing, okay. So, we know that we have to follow the, the wall on the right side. And into the forest and keep right until we can see the sea. And I so wish we could have been faster. The second chapter got triggered, that means some enemies have been added to the world. Extra enemies. I like the way he's holding the weapon. Probably it's not great if we have to hit a monster 2-3 times because we are quite slow. But there is no way we can learn two hand and by the time we can learn it we are going to be a mage. We are only going to do that once we are stronger. I mean stronger, once we are full mage. Because our aim is to play as a mage and the extras it's going to be we are going to be an all-around character we can master everything one hand two hand uh, bow crossbow sadly so give us your health and the shadow beast is easier now to bypass because of its aggro range so we still have to keep on the right side. There are some mole rats. Let's get their health. Oh, I so like the 
the way he's holding the weapon, like really. Oh, there is the Shadow Beast. Normally he's supposed to sleep, right? Why isn't he sleeping? I I kind of want to try my luck with it. Because we we hit like a truck now. Like literally because of how much power we have. Nice. Actually it wasn't as slow as I thought. So the only problem is with the Shadow Beast, as I said, that we will not uh, bypass its armor. Oh, okay. We can try one more time. And time or hits. Yeah, we are so damn powerful now, and he crit us first time. Didn't expect that that the the animals can also crit. So we are quite strong, as you guys can see. The Shadow Beast is not a joke. It's not like in the first game. Mana bonus, okay. Meat bug. Oh, the ragu takes too long to to use. We are going to use only the meat because we have a lot after this. So if we manage to kill the shadow beast, now we can kill a lot of those monsters here and still level up even more. So we are a powerhouse. There was something else, right? Night shadow. Oh, a wolf and a scavenger, they are friends now? Or they removed it? Might have been that they removed the, the enemies fighting each other. Uh, yep, we kind of clear this forest. Not all of it, because there are some skeletons and the skeletons are no joke here. There are more blood flies, wolves. So we are still on the path to the focus stone. The focus stone, the guy is going to be mad at us. Wow, the aggro range. I mean, not the aggro range, but the range of the weapon is so huge. And I'm a, I'm a hoarder, I know, I collect everything. So many wolves here. And they deal like no damage to us. We have to also check the alchemy, if it's really a thing or it's just not implemented yet. So actually we can clear this forest now. Yeah, the wolf has nothing to do with them. Oh, they do. But they kill the, the mall rat, sadly. Nice, nice. So we take no damage from them. We got all of a sudden so powerful. And that's a problem in Gothic 1. But it's for a first time or it's very nice because in the beginning you really get beaten by everything and everyone. And with the time passing by and you managing to get this power spike and then be able to kill everything, you're like, wow, I got so strong. And you actually enjoy it. But people that already play the game once, then they are going to know how can they level up. And and you just feel that you got all powerful at once. So we shouldn't actually try to clear everything, right? So many enemies here. 
Yeah, we just toss it on the side. There are some orc animals here, some dogs, orc dogs, I believe they're called in this graphic one. So I do hope that people enjoy this Unreal engine, the Unreal 5. It's not going to be exactly like Godfic, that's for sure. That's a different feeling, but but still, it's a Gothic game now. It just looks different, it's just a mode. Oh, there are the... Oh, they look like works here. They did got change. Oh boy, so many enemies. We are not going to pass the bridge there. That force we are going to clear later. We are here only for the focus stone. And we can really fight now. We can kill also the works, but or the orc dogs, whatever their name is. We only have to to lure them. I don't know if that's a possibility. So that side is going to be safe for later. Because there are more important stuff happening. Oh, we are about to level up again. So that's a good thing that we stopped leveling one-handed. Even though I believe for the two-handed we need the one-handed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just taking some meat. I heard some buzzing. And that was in-game, the buzzing. We are almost at the focus stone. The way the weapon swings is also the two-handed quite nice. Cannot wait to see how much we are going to to fight once we get the master or the next level. What's the next level? Oh, it doesn't say anything. It's just one-handed, two-handed and the percentage. At this rate we should stop picking any flowers and stuff because we don't really need anything. All of a sudden the game got quite easy. Where is the focus stone? Ah, there it is, I, I see it. But I do like to pick up stuff, I'm addicted to it, sorry about it. Any enemies around? No, nothing. Where is it? It's not here. But there is an NPC, hey, Nairas. Scram! You have no business to be here. I'm searching for the focus. Unfortunately, you're too late for that. I've already found it. The water looks nice and from I'm here. Like it really for nice. Myself. The sleeper talked to me last night and made me his only tool. Now I'll only serve the sleeper. No more Templars are gurus. What's wrong with your voice, my friend? You'll soon be through it. Oh, he is quite hard. Ah, oh, he died. Where did his weapon glide? So he died here and it went down here. I'm really curious what kind oh there it is. Steel tongue. Yeah, okay, not so great. So now we have to get down. But he took a lot of our health also, so he's quite powerful. We need better rings anyway. Can we actually go down here this way? Okay. What about jumping into the ocean? Ah, uh, no, it's not going to work, or... Oh, we did. How do we get up and down? Ah, okay. So there is no more barriers? Did it got removed or it got expanded by a lot? 
And that's the shortcut back to the Iberion and their incantation stuff. Because here the jumping and stuff, it doesn't work like in the original where you had to rotate it around and bypass the jumping damage fall. The acrobatics, I've seen that it's in the game, but I saw on Jorgensen's uh, video that it's not actually implemented. It is there, but it doesn't do anything yet. Probably we rush with the version 1 to be played, but we shall see. The graphic makes a makes a lot it's a lot of fun for me so i'd have no problem playing it later again iberian my friend stand up and talk with me i found the focus excellent you have done us a great favor have i now take the focus back to core colomb he'll know what needs to be done where can i find this core colomb he spends most of his time in the alchemy lab in the upper section of the catwalks. Talk to Lester at the entrance to the camp. He often guides newcomers around the camp. The novice Nyrus has gone mad. 750 experience. To him, That's a lot. Him as his only servant. Then he attacked and tried to kill me. The might of the sleeper is so vast that unprepared souls despair over it. Only we gurus, in our years of meditation, have achieved the spiritual strength to bear the voice of the almighty sleeper. Yeah, we need some reward. some kind of reward? Since you're not a member of our brotherhood, I will reward you. Take this amulet as a sign of my gratitude. Yeah, such bad rewards. But the flame one might be good for fire lizards. Okay, so we go to Korkalo. We got the focus stone. The Templars have nothing to say. Yeah, I believe this camp has the least members of it, of them all. And then actually the. The most populated is the old camp because they have the old mine, the camp is quite big and they have in the new camp also members. We have slept, we can get three more joints and light one up just for the lulls of it. I've come to collect my daily Here. Yeah, but not from your little pee pee. So let's light it up. Cream call. Nice. So we need to increase our mana pool. But we will do that once we become a mage. Korkala, my friend. What do you want? Money. I'm delivering the daily swamp weed harvest. And that's supposed to be the lot? I expect the complete harvest, which means at least a hundred stocks. Hey, you. Okay. What do I you want? I didn't know about that. Iberian sent me. I have the focus. Ah, the focus at last. Now I can study the magic of these artifacts. If I only had enough secretion. Damn! Oh yeah, we know where we can get more secretion. Another level up. Iberian said you'd pay me if I brought you the focus. Really? He said that? Well then, I suppose 50 ore should be That's enough. nothing, my friend. Yeah, and uh, our health is not full, so we, we only get healed a number of health. Secretion? Yes. As you must know, I produce the magic potions for the invocation of the sleeper. For this purpose, I need the secretion from the mine crawler's mandibles. You know what mine crawlers are, don't you? I heard about it, but no. Tell me about them. No. 
They are dangerous beasts that creep through dark mines and devour any human flesh they can get. Their mandibles contain a special secretion. I use it to produce a potion which guides the spiritual path to the sleeper. Speak on. Well, just a short time ago, I had a vision of the sleeper himself. He gave me a sign. Stop smoking. He made me understand that there is a means other than the secretion from the mandibles. And he chose me to pass on this mission. You're not getting this mission from me. You're getting it from the sleeper. Impossible. Long live the sleeper then. Be silent, fool. He made me understand that the path I have embarked upon is right. But the means aren't strong enough. The right means can be found with the mine crawlers, but the mandibles are not sufficient. There must be something else. Have you never examined the mine crawlers? I mean, maybe there's another body part which contains more of the secretion. Of course, we have taken some mine crawlers apart, but only their mandibles seem to contain the secretion. There must be something else. Find their nest, and you'll find the answer. Looks like this might become quite a bloody adventure. Take these potions with you. Thank I you. I am not giving them to you because I want you to stay alive, but because this task needs to be done. Why don't you send a Templar then? I don't get it. Where will I find the mine crawlers? In the old mine. Where is the old mine? Take this map. Any important places within the barrier are marked on it. What's the best way to fight the mine crawlers? There are Templars in the mine. They hunt the crawlers for their mandibles. Speak to Gornaved. He will help you. How can I find the nest in the mine? That's the hardest part of the mission. I can't tell you where to search, nor what to search for. But the sleeper will be with you. Well, that's a comfort. Yeah, how is the sleeper going to be with us when we barely got here and he's not with the other Templars that are here for years or the Baals or the Gurus? I have Weird. Mandibles for you. Very good. Take some of my best potions as reward. Hmm? What was that? What mandibles did we have for him? Where, so, we have a free alchemy. Can we do anything with it, or is it just a, an animation? Are we stuck in this animation? Don't tell me. No. Okay, so I believe the alchemy is not implemented yet either. Probably it's going to come in the later versions. Ooh, wow! Not going to slip through that. I do enjoy this rain. Can we get down? No, we cannot. So the gore is going to help us. Gore Navid. We already know about the secretion, right? Gore Nadrak. Have you enough of the potion for the great invocation of the sleeper? No. We still have to collect much more. Our mine crawler hunting units are in action day and night. Okay. So I guess now it's the time to go to the old mine and hunt the mine crawler and find their nest. What's the best way to go there to Yeah, close to the new camp? Or the way to the old camp through that forest. There might be some enemies there. Just the normal path that we can take. We shall see. Yeah, but I like the atmosphere here now. The rain e effects are nice and the thunders. Simply gold. Do you have anything for us? No. Yeah, everything pr protects us. But what actually protects us is this armor that we are wearing. Very powerful armor. Lots of oh, even lightning exists. That looked very nice. So once we finish this with the nest of the mind crawlers, we have the option to either become a mage or to become a guard. 
The sad part about becoming a guard is that you will not get the armor, the higher armor, the higher guard armor that they have. The one that Taurus is using. Oh, there is a lonely scavenger. Okay. Let's deal you in. You can become a mage anyway once you go to the new camp. But as soon as that you can get this with the old camp, you can enjoy it becoming a fire mage. I didn't know about that option when I was a kid and I played this game that you could actually become a, a fire mage. I always thought that it, the, the mage is only in the new camp that you can become. Oh, another scavenger. We could also just try to kill the black goblins there and get their almanac. But we are not going to, to do it in advance, you know. We will do it with another member that we have to get here. Yeah, the water, the waterfall looks weird now when it's raining. The way it merges with the lake. Probably the guys that are going to play the later versions of this game are going to enjoy the most of it. Because many things are not implemented. Oh, another blood slider simply stuck. We will level up once we go in the old mine. Should we make a stop here? Oh, the Varan also respawned, yes. Experience is experience. I believe there is no two-handed teacher unless you join the the guards or the mercenaries. Oh, a little bit of lag, let's save then. We should go and tell what the guys want, right? Ah no, we will do it once we come back because we do have to come back, so we are just going to walk to the to the old mine and there we will make a cut. We are almost there anyway. The map is not so huge. The potions are going to be bought from us later on once we have more money. Like literally more money because as soon as we become a mage we are going to need some money for some spells. Because we can get second circle mage I believe. Oh we will have to go up there also and meet the, the Gilbert or whatever his name is. Gilbert, Gilbert and talk to him. Actually, we are already here, so why not? Let's just go talk to the guy and then we will make a cut. Come. It would be funny to not be there, that he's not there or that we cannot really get down again. There is also a way to get into the camp. Oh, what he is there. Gilbert. Don't often get visitors up here. <laughs> He's a madman. Very clever of you to find my clicks. One hundred experience. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up with the old. Game. The sound changes according to the camera folks. position. <laughs> that was some time ago. I guess nobody remembers that now. But I'm staying here. There's too many blockheads running about the old camp. I like it. Yeah, I wish there was more with this guy. We could also beat him. I'll teach you not to... ah! Oh, he had cheese, a lot of stuffs. Where is your weapon? Gilbert. Or did we take it? Well, I guess. That. Already regretting it, but whatever. He's not mad at us. So, I guess I'll make a cut here. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me. We are going to go in the next episode into the old mine and find the mine crawler nest. Thank you very much again for joining me, guys. Have fun and be cool. Bye bye.